Greetings YouTube. There's going to be a new version of The Invisible Man coming out in 2020, um, directed by Lee Wanell, a person I've never heard of before. And I've watched the trailer, and everything I dis will be discussing will be discussing that's in the trailer, so there's no spoilers. I know nothing about the film except what's in the trailer itself. Now, uh, the original story, written by H.G. Wells, was done in 1897, and the original film was in 1933. Okay? So this one's going to be done in 2020. Yes, sweetie pie. I know you want your, you want to, you want attention. So to update it to the modern era, what we have here is a story of a psychotically controlling man, a researcher of some variety. Um, and he's, he has a, a, I don't know if it's a wife or girlfriend, but she is under his grip and is desperately a getaway. And she finally is literally able to break away, like in the dead of night, running, screaming, getting into a car, taking off, and this guy chasing after her. And she gets away. Um, so she, she, he loses his grip on her. Um, and then he commits suicide. And his will says that she can get $5 million from his estate if she can, for some specific time period or something, be declared legally sane. Essentially, sound of, of sound, mind, and body kind of thing. Why this, I don't know. I would just walk away. I would. There's, there's a catch at this, and you know there is. Now, the crazed researcher is the Invisible Man. And so now that he has convinced the world he's dead, he is essentially moves into her home to haunt her, to gaslight her, to harass her. And it is absolutely the perfect metaphor for the horrors that controlling men commit against the people in their lives through gaslighting and harassment. Perfect metaphor for the anonymous harassment we find on the internet. Faceless, nameless ways of destroying people's minds and their souls and their lives. This film, I, I saw this and I'm like, why has no one thought of doing this before? It is perfect. I don't know who the writer is, but it's genius. And I will never, ever see this film. I survived domestic abuse. I was raised in it. I'm, I'm not going to see this movie ever. However, it got me thinking. In 1897 and 1933, our understanding of science and physics in particular was somewhat sketchy. 1897, completely wrong. I believe they still believed in thermetic fluids back then. I'm not positive. But yeah, so yeah, not good. Um, and if you're going to bring it to the modern era, you're invoking physics, you're invoking science. And if you invoke science to say, this is the thing that we can do, here's the reason it works, and here, 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 then you're opening the door to all of us, then looking at what you're showing us and casting a critical eye. So, there's a couple ways you can do invisibility, scientifically. If it was magic, there's no explanation required. Whether it's a ring or a cloak or a potion, it just works. Hand wavy them all over the place, it just works. No questions asked. Really easy. However, if you start invoking physics, things get a lot stickier. Now, you could do a cloaking field like the Predator from the Predator franchise. And that particular method does not produce perfect invisibility. If the individual isn't moving, it's almost perfect. But if they move, you're going to see distortions. Because essentially, the light is being wrapped around an object. So while the field is compensating, there's some motion. Now, if you're in Star Trek levels of, of, of science, it's pure, pure. you're back in magic again. That's why you can have an entire Klingon ship to disappear. That's magic. But here, if you're kind of, it's not magic. It's science, speculative fiction. Okay? So the predator field is a really good option. Problems with it, of course, is there's distortion when you move. It requires an internal power source. And it can be damaged numerous times in the, in the films where the predators are in. The suit has been damaged and the field has failed. Okay? So there's some real downsides to that kind of a, 
a process. Now, we have shown in very little tiny amounts in today's world that this is possible. You can have a device which broadcasts an image of the things behind something so it looks as though the thing is not there. Okay? Um, but we're not into the moving things yet stage. The predators are way ahead of us in that regard. The other possibility is optical clarity. Now, I'm going to give you an example. Here is a clear dinosaur. He's not optically clear. He's clear. He's transparent, eh, translucent. Um, but the problem is, is that he has got lots of facets. Light shines off them. Um, you need a perfectly flat object in the sense that there's no reflection. And you need to have true optical clarity. Absolutely see right through the thing. The only example I can think of in the real world where that ever, ever happens is if you have the absolute best grade diamond there are and you put them in water, they disappear. That's where the phrase first water came from. Because it said that if that, was, that diamond was so clear, so good, that it disappeared in water. And that's the only real example I can think of in the real world. All right, and that's under controlled conditions in a glass of water. Out here, it's a lot harder to pull that off. But say you can. You come up with the formula or a mutation or something, and now you have created an organism which has true, perfect optical clarity, unlike the cat who is optically opaque. Um, if you do that, the organism that you have made optically clear is blind. Because these things that you've got right there in your eyeballs are lenses. And lenses function because they take incoming wave, light waves and they concentrate them onto your retina. If your lens is optically clear, no concentration. If your retina is optically clear, even if you had concentration, there's nothing to concentrate it on. You're blind. They touched on this in the wild card series of stories that deal with superheroes in the 20th century. Excellent series of stories and novels, highly recommended. So if you're into superheroes, read the wild card series of stories. They're wonderful. And there's a guy who could turn himself completely invisible. And that's the problem he had. Complete invisibility, he's blind. So he would make his eyes visible. So you would have these two disembodied eyeballs staring at you, which is very disconcerting. Um, but that's the way he could see. But the rest of them would be invisible. Okay? So... If you have that, you're blind. That's a major significant handicap. Okay, but no, so we're gonna put that one aside for now. I've shown you that it's not you're not you can't do this. If you do it, you're blind. But we're gonna put that aside and say they find some weird way to get around that problem. Okay? The next thing you gotta deal with is the fact that you're naked. All the time. You pick something up, it floats. You put anything on to stay warm, it's an empty piece of clothing. You are always going to be naked if you're going to be invisible. Highly problematic. Not to mention, moisture is going to show up on your body. Rain, mist, things like that. You are going to be seen in snow and things like that. Not to mention the footprints you'll be leaving behind. But you're going to leave footprints on carpets, particularly if it's a nice plush carpet. And I'm sure that every single person that's see, is, that is, is watching this video, none of you were raised in Skinner boxes, so all of you have lived with other human beings. There is no way for another human being to be invisible in your home. Even if you never see them. There, you, have, you have a perfect schedule where you and your roommate never encounter each other. You're still going to know there's someone there. People breathe. They have bad breath. They fart. They burp. They cough. They snore. They produce urine. They produce uh, feces. They move. They breathe. When they walk by you, you can feel the air. Yeah, you can be perfectly still and, and, and pretend you're and pretend you're not there for a little while. But you can't do it 24-7. And this guy's gotta live in the home with her. Now one part in the trailer, and again, I'm only talking about the trailer here. I'm not no spoilers. She figures out that there's someone in the chair sitting there. Her friends all think she's insane. She's not. But at that point. You just shoot them. It's not hard to get like a 45 caliber Derringer that'll hold 410 buckshot. I mean, 410 shotgun shells. Easy to conceal in the palm of your hand. Boom! 
visible person that is, is now definitely going to be visible because they're bleeding and screaming. Powder on the floor. Tal talcum powder. Baking powder. Flour. There's lots of ways to make an invisible person visible. And since she does figure this out and she's a smart person, she would have found some way to figure it out. And imagine, I'm, I'm assuming that she will in the film. And eventually her friends are going to get on board and there'll be a big, some big fight at the end like there was in every other version of this film. Uh, it's been numerous ones. I've, the last one I think I saw was Hollow Man. I own Hollow Man too. I haven't watched it yet. I imagine it's going to be really horrible. Um, but they skipped the whole blind thing in that Hollow Man as well. I'm sure they'll skip it in Hollow Man too. I'm invisible. Isn't that cool? No one's going to mention the fact that they can't see anymore. But you just can't hide in someone's home without them knowing you're there. So as a metaphor for the horrors of domestic abuse, gaslighting, and uh, harassment, this film is knocking it out of the park. I'm dumbfounded that no one did it before now. But if you try to apply the same kind of science that you have to apply it for us to buy that science has created this thing, makes no damn sense at all. And it spoils it for me. The trailer may not have spoiled it for me, but the fact that I know enough about science does. You make it magic, I'm never going to question it, man. As long as it's internally consistent with the world that you've created. If it's inconsistent, I'll bitch about the inconsistency. I won't bitch about the fact that it's magic. So, yeah. That bugged me. Because you can't hide in somebody's home and not be found. You can't do it. Because they're going to have to go out and they're going to be not around you. And they'll be able to do things and come back and mess you up in a major way. So, yeah. Like I said, great concept, wonderful metaphor. But I think the idea for me is dead in the water. 